and good morning you guys happy monday welcome back to the channel i slept in this morning until like 8 30 so i'm getting kind of a late start to my morning routine but that's okay just making coffee right now i'm going to take my vitamins i've gone over what i take before but it's nothing special and i'm just gonna sit down kind of have a slow morning and then go to the gym i don't really i don't have a ton on my schedule today um i do need to work on the pharmacology notebook that i've been talking about so i will work on that and then i'm also going to get started on my resume as an np because i'm going to start applying to places this summer so that's kind of exciting I'm such a baby when it comes to taking pills. <clears throat> I'm like one at a time, whereas all of my patients are like, give me the whole cup. <laughs> I'm like, dang, that's impressive. But anyway, I just want to start the morning kind of slow because I'm a sucker for a slow morning. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy to have you here. but I have officially finished my pharmacology notebook and I think that most of you follow me on TikTok who watch my vlogs but um, if in case you missed it I'm having a hard time speaking today so please forgive me but in case you missed it I did just upload my pharmacology notebook that a lot of people wanted um, if you remember I posted like an original video that talked about this and why I thought you should make one and everybody was like well actually we would like to buy yours so I put mine on a Word document and I'm just going to run you through it really quick in case you were one of the ones who are interested. That way you can see what it is. It is available on Etsy to buy. It's $55. It took me a lot of time. Um, so I feel like that's a fair price and it will get you through all of your clinicals and you could even, if you're like going to go to NP school or you haven't taken pharmacology, um, but you're in NP school, it could really help you. Um, I also think that it could be slightly helpful. Ugh, like I said, I can't talk today. I also think it could be slightly helpful um, as a nurse, but I, it's definitely not geared toward that. So if you are a nurse who's not in NP school, um, it's not particularly for you. I did include like tetracyclines and encycline. So there are basics of that, but it's geared towards treatment. Um, how do we treat? What do I need to know before I prescribe this medicine? So there are samples of what it looks like on Etsy too, in case you want to see it, but I'm going to actually show you guys a sample. Okay. So it's really nothing fancy, honestly. Is it focused? Okay. So this is the first part. It's a word key because I use a lot of little things like R dash O risk of, and then it goes into antibiotics and each class of medications, I tell you what they're broken down into and I tell you treatment. I do include drug interactions in some, but not all because that's honestly not something that you're going to gravitate towards um, when you're in clinicals. You're not gonna be like, oh, let me go run through this person's medication list and see if anything interacts. You're really gonna be looking at treatment and side effects. So that's all of that and it covers seven um, drug classes. I'll tell you those in a second. But then I also included some basic algorithms that we use. So my school goes by the American Heart Association Hypertensive Management Guideline. So I included that. I included the cholesterol guideline, compelling indications, a chart of the statins, things like that. Um, and I wrote down, okay, so it includes antibiotics, antihypertensives, diuretics, cholesterol meds, respiratory meds, GI meds, and anti-diabetics. And 
In the anti-diabetics and cholesterol meds, I did include mechanism of action, but I didn't include that in any of the other ones because you should honestly know how it works. Um, we all know how ACE inhibitors work, how angiotensin receptor blockers work. And then I really didn't want to get into, because I didn't use my notebook for like, oh my goodness, how does penicillin work? You know, that's not what it's there for. It's there for like, my patient has strep, which antibiotic should I use? So you can run to it and say like, oh, amoxicillin is first line for strep. That's what it's for. That's what I used it for. So I will link it um, down below if it's something that you're interested in. Again, it's $55 and it's on Etsy. So yeah, I'm just glad to like cross that off and I really hope it helps you guys. Oh, for, 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 for. Can dogs have cauliflower? Like for sure. I don't know. You wanna look it up? Yeah. They like it. <laughs> of course they like it. <laughs> they like anything. Oh yeah. It says it's best served to your dog plain and unseasoned. Cooking it does reduce the risk of choking. <laughs> Kipper, are you gonna choke on the cauliflower, honey? Uh, you yeah, you make it kind of small. Who's <laughs> sure is excited? <laughs> said <laughs> that looks very good to you. <laughs> so good. <laughs> gourmet. It's a gourmet Think dinner. Of Think of it as cheese. <laughs> Wish I was as excited for veggies. Good morning, you guys. So next day, I'm making myself a coffee. I'm gonna make um, an espresso today. I'm just feeling a bit lazy this morning. So. I'm doing an espresso pod. If you guys haven't tried the nut pod cinnamon roll, um, creamer, it's really good. It has no sugar added. So if you like sweet stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't like, if you like your coffee, you have like a hint of flavor. This is so good. I love this stuff. Um, it's so good. <laughs> it just gives you really like an essence. And I measure it out because I have my coffee recipe down to a T. So I want to get it right. So I do a fourth of a cup of this, of the cinnamon roll oat creamer. It's kind of a lot, but it's it has no like sugar in it. So it's really just oat milk with cinnamon. <laughs> and then I do two thirds of a cup of oat milk and it's perfect. Put that on, start that. And then I just went and got the mail, so I wanted to open. I got a package, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I ordered it or if somebody sent it to me. Um, don't look at my address. <laughs> um, so I woke up this morning, like, probably at like 7.45, and I went to, went to let the dogs outside. And I was like, oh, what is that smell? Like, oh, did a skunk spray outside last night? Um, but I forgot that my next door neighbor, my next door neighbors literally smoke weed for fun. And I mean, everybody, well, not everybody smokes weed for fun, but they smoke weed at really, really interesting hours of the day. So at like 7.45 in the morning, I just, I don't know. Anyway, Clarence sent this to me. A double sear. How did they get my. Did they reach out to me? I don't know. Get my address. Double serum hydrolipidic system eye. Cool. It's for your eyes. That's it. And this little thing. <laughs> and this big thing. Okay. How do I use it? Visible results, seven days to younger looking eyes. Okay, cool, I need that. I get really bad dark circles underneath my eyes, so 
I will try that out. Love getting fun packages. And the other thing I got was a water bill, so that sucks. The water here in Florida is like crazy expensive. Our water bill is literally like a hundred and something a month. I hate it. It's crazy. Hey, Rosie, do you need to go outside, baby? Okay. <gasps> $209. That's crazy. Oh my God. Is this for like combined with last month or something? Yeah, prior balance. Oh shoot. I gotta pay the water bill from last month. Whoops. <laughs> up of the house and vacuumed and mopped and stuff like that because having dogs it's so dirty there's so much hair all the time so I try to do that at least like every two days but I probably vacuum once a day and it's a little exhausting but I wanted to take you guys through my skincare routine um I've done a few, sorry, my contacts. I like stretch my contacts out so much. Like my contacts, I think you're supposed to use for two weeks. Don't come for me, but these contacts I've been using since Christmas. <laughs> they just like, what's the point in throwing them away if they're still good? I've been using them for almost five months. They're fine. I don't have eye infections or anything like that. So. Anyway, I wanted to run you guys through my skincare routine because it's really simple. I get some questions about it, um, and I've done a few like TikToks on them, but it's nice to just kind of talk through it sometimes. So I am a picker. I like pick my face so much. It helps me relieve stress. I know it's a terrible habit, and people probably think that's really disgusting, but just like I pick so much. So that's my biggest issue. I do, I get breakouts like on my cheeks, kind of hormonal breakouts um, around like my time of the month. But other than that, everything, all the pimples I get are because I make them myself. I'll like pop a blackhead or something and just continue to pick at it and it makes it worse. So that is my cross to bear. Um, but I'm really trying to work on that this year and I really like the products that I've been using. So in the morning, I really just um, wet my face. I don't wash it. I used to have very oily skin like when I was a teenager and like going through puberty and stuff, but now my skin is dry. And especially living in Florida, like the heat, I know that there's humidity in the air so that during the summer, that definitely helps, but it can be kind of drying the heat so much so my skin has definitely gotten drier so I try not to wash it that much and I do use a lot of oil based products so I just in the morning I really just I just wet my face and then I've been using I use any type of vitamin C serum I haven't found one that I particularly love or that I think is like amazing but right now I'm using this Coco Kind one vitamin C serum and Mr. Call and that's good for like vitamin C serum is supposed to be good for brightening and I need that I have like a five o'clock shadow here I feel like it's not an actual mustache like there's no hair there it's just I think it's melasma um but yeah that kind of sucks so I try to use like brightening serum there and then I also use retinol there to kind of like help it out but I could probably go I could probably use like laser treatment for it but it's kind of expensive so I use vitamin C serum and then I use this first aid beauty ultra repair cream that's intense hydration I swear by this stuff this is my first container ever that I've used but it's like amazing it's so hydrating and it's so gentle I love this stuff I will be repurchasing I wish that I would have bought it with the Sephora sale because I got this bottle with the Sephora sale last year and I'm still not done with it but I could have like restocked but I didn't so that was stupid of me but 
And I use that and then you guys saw I just got this um, eye serum in the mail. I don't know if you're supposed to use it like twice a day or just at night. Unfortunately, the instructions are in French and though it's a beautiful language, I do not speak it. So I probably have to Google like how you use it, but I just want to try it. Oh. oh, okay. I know you're supposed to apply eye serum with like this finger. Okay. Put that eye serum on. I can't recommend it because I don't really obviously know how it works, but maybe you guys have tried it and you like it. So we'll see though. I'm going to keep using it. I'll look up the directions, see if I'm supposed to use it twice a day or once a day. And then where is... Huh. My husband likes to take things from here. <laughs> I'm looking for my um, sunscreen. Okay, one second. Okay, I found it. I use the Neutrogena clear face oil-free sunscreen i've had this forever so honestly i could probably use something with like oil in it to make my skin not so dry and it's 50 spf i've heard really good things about like the is it called like super goop or is it just called goop i don't know but i'm gonna finish that product i've been using that for so long so anyway super important to use sunscreen so i always put that on and then i have some of this cetaphil moisturizing lotion i like to use this on my like chest and decolleté area because the first aid beauty products are expensive and i feel like this is a good lotion so i just put that there because you got to bring your skincare down to the chest that's what skinny confidential taught me <laughs> um and that's really it. It's really simple. And maybe like tonight or something, I'll take you through my nighttime skincare routine so you can see both. But really the only difference is I'm like obsessed with this Juno Skin Cleansing Tent, no, sorry, Clean Ten Cleansing Balm. They sent me this product, but like this is amazing. I use it to take off my, um, my makeup. And I don't know if you could use it as a cleanser or not, but... I love like an oil-based product taking off your makeup. So this is what I use. I take off my makeup with that and then I wash my face with CeraVe. And then I use this retinol, this Adaptaline Different Gel. You can This is just over the counter. You can get it at Target. And then I use my vitamin C serum again and my First Aid Beauty. And that's it. I keep it really, really simple because if it's not simple, I won't do it. So that's my skincare routine. I've been very bad at vlogging today, but I did work on my resume and I really just kind of copied um, one of my friend's resumes who is graduating, um, like actually graduating in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to show it to you guys. And sorry, that angle. <laughs> um, I wanted to show it to you guys. And if you have any input, please let me know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to apply. I need to say down. I'm not going to apply for anything right now. I just feel like it's a little too early and I, I really need to sit down and decide what I want to do because a part of me feels pulled to just apply for like family medicine or cardiology and the other part of me is like, no, just apply for aesthetics. Just see if you can get a job in Botox um, and filler, things like that. I just don't have... Unfortunately, I don't have any experience in that because you have to be a nurse practitioner in Florida and able to do injections. So that's a problem. Um, but I did have a friend who graduated in um, December who got a job right out of school out of practice. So yeah, I, I need to decide what I want to do. I need to like make a vision board or I need to really just hone in on what are my goals? Um, what do I see myself doing? in august after i graduate and after i get my certification and everything so i am going to start applying in the summer um probably like end of may beginning of june i just feel like it's a little too early right now everything that i see i've just been looking on indeed but everything that i see says like urgently hiring so i'm like urgently hiring is not four months out so anyway 
This is a little brief overview that will focus on my resume. And I don't think there's anything like crazy in there that you shouldn't see, but it tells all of my, so it tells the degree that, I, oh, my GPA is in there. All right, well, you guys know my GPA. It's not that big of a deal. It's not amazing. Um, all of the rotations that I've done, I do have to finish PED, so it says will be completed. I included a primary care procedures class that I took. It has um, both my bachelor's and my associates in there. It has all of my experience as a nurse and then my certifications and skills that I have. I try to keep it quite brief um, because I feel like I've heard in the past that people only look at um, like the first page of a resume. So the only thing they would see is my education. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. That's like a brief overview. I'm definitely gonna tweak it, but I'm just proud of myself for getting it done. I feel like this whole vlog is me in my bathroom, <laughs> but I'm kind of in a rush. And sorry, I'm about to put deodorant on. I don't know if people think that's weird or not, but if I don't do it now, I'll forget. Um, anyway, I just took the boys for a walk and I'm getting ready because I have to go work as a GA. Today is my last um, Wednesday working today and tomorrow and then I'm done. I don't have to do it during the finals week as far as I know. I've gotten some controversial things like some people saying I do and some people saying I don't but I actually have a final during the time that I'm supposed to be working and um, some families coming in for my graduation so I will not be attending. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna do a quick little makeup routine. My makeup is, like I literally do the bare minimum. I just am not a person who looks good with like actual, with like makeup on. I just don't, I feel like I don't look like myself. And so I do very, very minimal. I basically just cover up my acne and call it a day. I need to turn on this light. Um, so I'm using the NARS Concealer, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium One Custard. And I just do that. On the weekends, if like we're doing something, I will put on bronzer and blush, but I don't during the week because I do feel like the more makeup I wear, the more I break out, no matter if it's good makeup or not. So I just try to keep it super minimal. So yeah, I just do that and then <laughs> that's it. And then I do um, this IT Cosmetics Blowout, Lash Blowout. I might have done this in last week's video, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry if you've already seen this. It's not like it's anything crazy anyway though. I hate putting on mascara. It's the worst thing ever. But my eyelashes are pretty non-existent without it, so. That's literally all I do. Um. I've been using, I got sent this Grande Lash um, MD, the Lash Enhancing and the Brow Enhancing Serum. And I've been forgetting to use them every day, but I really want to because I wanna see if it works. So I'm just putting the, um, the brow one on. I've got a few little, if you can tell. I've got like pretty good brows. I really don't do anything to them. I probably should like shape them and stuff, but I'm just not interested and I don't care. Like I don't mind how they look, so but they're a little um, sparse, like here and here, so maybe I could, and not really get growth, but like the ones that I get there are, they don't grow very long, so maybe that could help them grow. And that is it. <laughs> that is it, my friends. I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo in my hair. I live by dry shampoo. I wash my hair twice a week. I have very, very oily hair. 
so I have to wash it twice a week. But dry shampoo is life saving for me. And then I'll probably just wear my hair up because it's getting really hot in Florida and I can't really stand to have it down, honestly. And then I use this Olaplex number seven bonding oil. Mm, maybe like every two or three days. And right before, like the day before I have to wash my hair, I will use a lot of it because my ends get really, really dry. And I really find that this product is really good and as in like it doesn't keep my hair oily like it actually it's I don't know how to describe it but it's really nice like it's not like it makes my end super oily it really just kind of it helps everything come together and yeah <laughs> that's it get my scrubs on I think I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's tonight because I really, like, we don't have any food per usual. I'm always in this predicament, but, yeah, get ready. Hi, guys. Back in our familiar spot. I just got home from work, and I went to Trader Joe's because, like I said this morning, absolutely no food in the house. I'm not going to do a Trader Joe's haul because I did one in the last couple of, I think, maybe like two vlogs ago and I really get all the same things um if there's something like fun I'll try it but the only thing that I can think of oh a few things I'll show you yeah a few things so I got this um peony blossom scented candle I love Trader Joe's little candles I'm like putting it up to you guys like you can smell it it's floral obviously but I don't have any candles right now so I got that to burn and then I feel like they've probably had this for a while but I just realized that they have ready to bake pizza dough and this is garlic and herb like that sounds so good I have to work in the hospital on Friday and I love having homemade pizza when I get home which is so strange I know it's like the weirdest little obsession but I thought that Seth could make homemade pizza for me <laughs> so I could have it on Friday when I get home from the hospital because you guys know that I don't want to go so a little something to make it better and go like nice. But yeah, I just got home at 6.45. Traffic was so bad. Um, and I need to decide what we're going to make for dinner. I'm going to take the boys for a walk. Yeah. I'm very happy to get on with my last day of GA at like full day. Um, I'm thinking tacos tonight. I got a kombucha. I think I'm going to pour this watermelon wonder kombucha for a little drink. Love to have something to sip on. It's a Christmas mug. I just never put it away because I kind of like it. I want to get... Okay. I want to get um, really cute glass mugs that everybody has, but it's not really a necessity right now, so... I'll wait till after I graduate and get back to working and actually making like a decent salary. So, hmm, that's really good. Chicken nuggets. Oh, chicken nuggets. I thought you said cheap chocolate. <laughs> no. It's a cheap chocolate. 
Did you already eat? Yeah, I couldn't wait. I tried to. Oh my god, honey, there's so many. I want two, four, six, eight. There's eight on your plate. Ten, twelve. There's fourteen total. If you eat fourteen chicken nuggets, I will be really impressed. Do you want one of these tonight? Yeah, put one in the freezer for me. I have to drink this nasty cherry blossom one. Uh -huh. I have to drink this nasty cherry blossom one. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Jose? What are you doing? Got some honey crisp apples? I don't want to try the chocolate. Ooh, wow. Tomorrow. Because I'll look forward to it all day. He'll give me okay. something to look forward to. Alright. Yeah, I want to try them. Apples, I'd love to have some apples around. I like to eat that in the morning, I like some yogurt. Yeah. Oh, did you look for nutritional yeast? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you got orange again. No. <laughs> he was trying to break you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was wondering. <laughs> I'm like, I did not. I know I did not. <laughs> so there's no way I did not. <laughs> Have you tried this one? It's Fuji Apple Fair. No, I can't even do this one. Yeah. And they only had two pizza left. Those yeah. are definitely the most popular. Of course, they're the most popular. Oh, show. The boys have been waiting for you so they can oh, take sure. WALK. Oh, sure. Well, he doesn't want to get all that. Who's your doesn't want to go by Timber's Yeah, literally about to die. You take it a little, you take it easier with the Parmesan cheese? What's this? <laughs> what is this like dusting it over here? No, it's not. It's like it looks... So at Trader Joe's the other day, I couldn't find... Look at my head. Honey. <laughs> you need to like spray sunscreen on your head. I don't know what to do because it makes my hair really greasy. Oh, that's true. That's the problem. And I put, as you can see, I put sunscreen on today. Because Did you? my face is not oh. the same color as my head is. I think you're dead. Yeah, or else my face would. Oh my gosh, my eyes are cold. Yeah. Hmm. They're not, they're not, oh, no, I guess it kind of is. I didn't think about that. Oh I eat cold food. You eat cold food? I eat cold food. Oh. Happy Friday. It's quite early right now. It's 5.50 in the morning. I just got ready. I made myself a cup of coffee and I'm sitting down to do my five minute journal and some little devotional before I have to go to the hospital. Um, so yeah, I never really want to go to this job. I talk a lot about having like pre-shift anxiety because the less I work in the hospital the more I get it um, and I'm currently only working two days a month so unfortunately I do get a lot of like pre-shift anxiety but I never have it the morning of which is nice so I'm hoping for a good day ultimately just hoping it goes by like super quick and I can be done because this shift and my final are the only thing standing between me and like a full-on vacation and yeah and also i don't have many more of these shifts left before i grad like a f i know i'm graduating next week but before i am officially done in august since i only work two days a month it's really all i can muster up the courage to work so yeah hoping for a good shift tonight and i'll probably check in with you guys
It is really daunting to me how every time I work in the hospital, I feel like I got hit by a bus every single time. And like I used to do this three days a week. And a lot of you guys do it three days a week. It's crazy. To make matters worse after I got off of my shift yesterday, which really wasn't that bad. <clears throat> We went out to dinner with friends. We were out until like 11 o'clock, so I was up for way too long. Not enough sleeping time in between all of that. Um, but anyway, everything is good, everything is fine. I got that shift out of the way, and now I can just coast into my final and graduation, and I'm very excited. So, um, yes. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. I'm gonna start importing this footage into my computer. Like that process is so long and so annoying. So, and always perplexes me. I'm like, wait, how do I do this? So I'm gonna figure that stuff out. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you in the next one, which will be my graduation vlog. So, so exciting. Bye guys. Bye.